Like, no, play. can I see it, Rebecca? You follow me. Check this out. Okay, well, let me get my serious face on. Look, when fighters go like this, you see that I'm not, I'm not blocking him, right? Look. Yeah, <laughs> Where is that coming from? I don't get. I think it's supposed to intimidate me, but it's funny. I'm not intimidating you. I'm not I mean, intimidating none enough. Of, they, none of the boxes aren't intimidating either. I kind of feel like they're trying to kiss me. <laughs> so. I, I mean, because they're trying to provoke each other. That's what they're trying to do. And he's like, do you see those fights taking place even when Mike Tyson used to be around? And they be right here. Right there? Mm -hmm. But you are different. No, I'm diff I'm very different, yes. I always, when I see my opponent, I always shake his hand. Give me your hand. Good luck. Good luck. Uh-huh. You're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, man. <laughs> That's it. You're merciless. Merciless, of course. But at the same time, I'm, I'm not evil. Uh, there's no reason for me. I don't have a personal problem with you. I'm just going to beat you up. Oh, wow. It's my job. You're going to kill me. That's it. In the ring. Then after that, we can go out and... And have fun? Have something to eat or something. Sophia, what do you think? I think what he says. That's how he is. He's right on? That's the kind of person he is. He's you not never a, get he's into any street fights. Person. No, no street fights. I'm, I'm a happy person outside of the gym, inside the gym. You get along with everybody? Everybody. What makes a good fighter? Someone who takes his craft seriously. Discipline. Not anger. Just, not anger. No. Anger doesn't work? Nope. Just perfecting your craft. Practice. Discipline, that's what makes a good fighter. And I feel like that's what we try to pride ourselves on. Working hard, working on the little things, technique, and doing everything. Running, speed back, jump rope, pull-ups, push-ups, oh, everything. Oh, man, I have the speed one. I got the speed back. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one because people, like fighters, they got like a nice rhythm on their feet. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. They go like, it's like, like a rhythm kind of yes. deal, right? Yes. And it's, it's, I don't know, I get kind of dizzy <laughs> when I hear that. It's just, it makes me dizzy. I mean, now, let's talk about the future. Okay. What do you see in the future? What's your biggest dream? World champion. To, to be a world champion. That's my dream. Okay. Boxing fighters out there. Who would you like to fight? I would like to fight James Kirkland. Okay. He's a guy from Texas. He's 25 and 0, 23 knockouts. It was interesting about him is he's trained by a female as well, by Ann Wolf, who was a former boxer. Yeah. Well, she still boxes, but she's, she trains him, and he's pretty good. He's tough, and... I think I'm tougher, and I think my mother's tougher than his chain. So far, she's a tough woman. She is. She is a tough woman. She's a, but I like her. Yeah. She's a good trainer. Right. But I tell you, boxing can throw you off, too. Like the Raging Bull. I seen it last night. Mm. It's a great movie. Do you watch <laughs> a lot of movies at all, or you don't? Not really. I don't I catch them on TV. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. It, you're that serious? Yes. We, just, we have busy days, so when I get home, I like to take a shower and go to sleep. How about time you go to bed? Um, depends on the day, but we try to get, I try to get in bed by at least by 11 or 12. Okay. Yeah. And what happens when you don't sleep good at night? What do you do? I usually do sleep good at night. Oh, but if I can't sleep, I'll get up and work out more because I have like a little gym in my, in my house. So uh -huh. work out a little more until I get tired and go back to sleep. And go back to sleep. You take a nap? Yeah, take a little nap. <laughs> you do? Yes. No kidding, like a baby. What time to what time? <laughs> oh, depends. Like I said, it all depends on the schedule for that particular day. Some uh -huh. days I have... I'm busy all day, no breaks, so can't. But if I could squeeze a nap in anywhere, uh -huh. catch me in the car sleeping. Boxing is like <laughs> a drug, man. It's like acting, I guess. Yes. You can't, I mean, you just love it with all your heart. Yeah, exactly. And that's the only way to be successful at anything, really, in my opinion. You have to love it. Uh -huh. You have to love it. Because it, that's what makes me get up in the morning at 6 o'clock to run. Because I love being in the ring. I love winning. I love the lights. I tell you, your story is like, it's, it's for a film, it's for a movie. Mother and Son. Yes. I agree. Anytime somebody's gonna come to you and say, Sophia, I wanna do a movie. I'll what do you okay. think? Yes, I'll be fine with it. Who do you think should play her as an actress? Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Angela I think you see how right on? You see? That I'm right on, right? Yeah, that was. Yeah. What about me? Hmm. Oh, baby, you're too young. You're 22. I should play myself. You should play myself. Why I not? Play myself. <laughs> you see, that you get all the answers. I cannot fight with this man. I'll play myself. I, it, it, it's just intoxicating. <laughs> the boxing is like, but I, I don't know. It's just tough to see blood, to smell it, to sense well, it. Well, you get used to it. You get used to you blood? Get, you Honestly, get you get used to blood? Yes. You really do? Yeah. yeah. What about when they keep punching you? It doesn't hurt? You get used Can to I it. Can I try? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting a little cocky. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? I tried to squeeze myself on camera. I'm right on, right there. Yes, as long as, yeah, there you go. So pretty much, when you're fighting, mm -hmm. have you ever, ever feel any fear? Um, the slightest, I'm, because uh, this is something that I want to ask you, because, you know, fighters are so right on on target. Mm -hmm. Do you allow yourself to be afraid? 
I wouldn't say fear, but definitely nerves. I'm nervous, of course, in the back when I'm warming up, wrap, getting my hands wrapped. I'm so nervous uh -huh. every time. I mean, from the time I was amateur to the time I was pro, you always get nervous before a fight because you're about to go fight, and it's scary because the goal of a fight is to knock the other person unconscious. Uh -huh. That's what you're trying to do. Right. So scary. I'm gonna, the person on the other side of the ring is gonna rejoice if he knocks me unconscious. Uh -huh. So of course that's a that's a scary thought. Uh -huh. So you're definitely nervous in the back, but you then, battle too much. Are you, you do you mute your mind on silence when you're in the ring? No. Not much? No. What's the single thought right here, Dennis? Winning. 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 And winning. No matter China. what the cost, yep. win. Exactly. Oh, God. Win. Incredible. Beat him up. That's Beat him up. Beat him See up. See the blood. Mm hmm Max Kellerman and all those HBO guys. They're <laughs> really passionate. They get really into it. Definitely. They really do. They love the, you know, the craft. Zach, Zach, Zach Levin. He's a really good boxing journalist. He's amazing. Mm. He loves the boxing so much. But he says, you see, boxing is a craft. It is, it's, it's a craft. craft. And you gotta put your life into it. We got what? About 15 minutes, in five minutes, we're gonna be ready to show the song with Magnificent. Okay? Bring it to the ring. It's coming. When's it gonna be your next fight? Well, right now we're looking at November 20th in Atlantic okay. City on, okay. on a Sergio Martinez, Paul Williams rematch undercard. Okay. So that's what we're training towards. It's not definite yet, but uh -huh. we're training as if it is definite for that. For that day. Okay, okay. Now, in terms of the sparring, I have another thought. When you, how many times do you spar a week? We try to spar at least three times a week with three different people. Three different people? Yes. Okay. Like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays? Mondays, Monday, Wednesdays, when, and Fridays? Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Okay. What's a tough training session for you? A tough session would probably be a conditioning workout more than anything. Uh -huh. Conditioning is a hard and annoying, weight training and stuff like that. Uh -huh. I love the boss, the boxing aspect. I love working with her um, because she's a real technical person, so she, we master everything down. She tries to make sure I do everything perfectly, but that's always fun to me. Mm -hmm. So I can do that all day, but lifting weights and running yeah, that's and stuff, that's the hard stuff. That's a killing. I'm trying to question the camera. You see, I was sitting in that chair, but I felt compelled to come right to you. Sitting down right next to you because I, I want to feel the energy. Huh? I get that a lot. People you get that a lot. People want to get close to you. They <laughs> want to hug you. They want to kiss you. I mean, I mean, your girls. I mean, she's gonna. I mean, is she, is she jealous? No, she's not a jealous person at all. Oh no, kidding. So she's in control. Yeah, she's, she she can did. handle it. Yeah, she can handle it. She's a very attractive girl herself, so she gets a lot of attention. How you guys met? Um, we met through a friend actually back in high school. Okay, it was love at the first sight. No. <laughs> no. 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 <gasps> what happened? Do you um, guys? I mean. Like I said, she was she was very attractive, so it was uh -huh. attraction at first sight, but uh -huh. uh, she was feeling herself a little bit. Like so. pretty much love is blind for 24 <laughs> hours, guys, and after those 24 hours, you better be ready. Exactly. You better be ready. One piece of advice to all the fighters out there. One piece of advice. One piece of advice, I would say just work. It's all about hard work. A lot of people see the, the pretty side of boxing, like the Mayweather side where he's so good and everything like that, but they don't see what he's doing behind the scenes. Right. All the hard work you gotta put in to get that good, right. to accomplish the things that he's accomplished and the stuff that I plan on accomplishing. It's hard work. You see the lights, you see me hitting somebody, knocking them out, but... And the lights and the thousands of people everywhere and the amount of money as well? Yes, it all sounds good, but I put in eight weeks of hard work before that. Of course, it's a tough training. Exactly. Okay, we're ready to go, we're gonna be having what? We got to meet George, I can barely hear you. Talk to me. Oh, how many fights he had? Where's he going Well, pretty much the fights. Yeah, we're talking about that, George. I wanted to cover that end. But okay. pretty much I wanted to ask you, um, what do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years? Well, yes. How old am I, 22?